everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here. Got a fun, simple scroll saw project video for you guys today. I hope you all had a happy and safe Christmas and a happy and safe New Year. We are now in 2020 and ready for a year full of blessings and positivity. Um, one of the gifts I got for Christmas was this awesome 10 inch tablet. It is awesome. It suits my needs so far. Uh, it does everything I've asked it to do, which is what electronics are all about. But so far, the only stand I've got for it is a decorative plate stand I found that you just sit it down and then the tablet just kind of rests on it like that. And it works, but I would like something a little bit more decorative to go on a desk or countertop other than that. And so what I did was hopped over on Steve Good's website and found a pattern pack for tablet stands. All of the variety of patterns are the same for the stand, but the backboard here has several different designs to choose from. I think there's around 15 or 20 in the pattern pack, which is awesome. You will find something for everyone in those designs. The design I picked is this little sailboat because I like tropical stuff, nautical theming, pirates, stuff like that. Um, the backboard is universal. This pattern here will be the one that is different in each one you download and print. It calls for quarter inch thick plywood. Um, the wood I have is just a little bit over a quarter inch. So what I've done is just marked the additional thickness on the slots and you want to be very careful if you have to go that route because when this thing slots together to make the stand you want it to be nice and strong and don't want the fit to be loose to where your tablet could fall or topple over. I've already got the pattern attached to the wood with clear packing tape. So let's head on over to the drill press, drill our pilot holes, and get this tablet stand project started. And with most scroll saw projects, we're going to start over here on the drill press, drilling all of our pilot holes. I think it's around 10 in this particular version of the pattern. We're going to come back over here to the scroll saw, and I'm using number 5 reverse tooth sharp tooth scroll saw blades. And we're just going to begin by doing all of our internal cutting. As I said, the pattern is designed by Steve Good, and there is a whole variety of patterns in the pattern pack for the same tablet stand, but the background image where the tablet rests is different in several of the designs for you to pick and choose which one you like. If you would like to try this version of the pattern or any of them in the pattern pack or any of Steve's patterns, you can head over to his website at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com and see all of his amazing patterns. Just going through here cutting out all of the internal pieces again. I said it wasn't very many to create the boat design that Steve designed. But just going through here and knocking all the internal cuts out. And then we will release the two pieces from the wood with the final two outside cuts in this piece I'm working on here. And then the stabilizing piece that acts as the legs. And it has no internal cuts, by the way, but now I'm going to tighten up the blade and give it some soap for some lubrication. And cut out the slot here first, and it's important that you stay as close as you can to the line on that slot. And now we're going to begin releasing the piece from the wood. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also follow me on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. bit more soap there. Just basic dollar store soap and it helps lubricate the blade on the scroll saw to prevent burn marks. But cutting out the final piece here and then we'll move from the scroll saw over to sanding. Remove the patterns and the pieces from the waist and give it a light sanding with 100 grit sandpaper. 
on my palm sander. And then we're going to put it together and it was a real firm fit. So that's good. And then I went and got the tablet for a test fit and the project was complete. And here we have the completed tablet stand. I think it turned out real good. It sanded up nice and smooth. Um, this is actually maple laminated plywood I had lying around forever and waited for an ideal project and I just thought this would be good because this is going to be sitting on my desk where I can charge the tablet and just have this displayed. All that's left to do is put a clear coat on it to make the grain pop and as you can see the maple laminate is on the front side and then the back side just has the Baltic birch type plywood look to it. And speaking of the tablet, fits comfortably on it and it also fits comfortably vertically or horizontally if I would care to watch a movie on YouTube or stream something on the tablet while it was on the stand. It's also going to be good for charging the tablet. I think it turned out real good. I'm real excited to have this on my desk other than that little um, decorative plate stand which was working but again I wanted something a little bit nicer. It took me around 30 minutes to cut this out and that includes the prep work, getting the pattern on it, drilling the holes, doing the work and sanding start to finish around 30 minutes. There was more detailed patterns in the pattern pack but here's another look and again you do not glue this together so you can slide it apart and drop it into a bag if you travel a lot or plan to go on vacation and want to have the stand with you. And that stand makes me think of this stand that I made. I unplugged my phone so I can show it to you guys. Steve Good also designed this one. And he just recently released the pattern pack for this right before Christmas. It's got a hole in the back for the cell phone cord to go through and then the notch so you can charge it while it's in the stand. This one again pops apart and goes flat. He's also got this one as a free pattern download on his website. But that's about all for this video. I look forward to an amazing 2020. I hope you guys like this project. And remember guys, if I can make it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.